Welcome to the Cor A Course in Miracles, the practice. Understanding it is not necessary to apply these daily practices. As you practice this daily, understanding will come. Some of the exercises, all of which are simple, over the next 365 days, your mind will want to resist. Practice them anyway. And welcome to A Course in Miracles, The Practice. Welcome to A Course in Miracles, The Practice. Today we are on Practice Prompt 291. And prior to reading today's prompt, I'm going to read Section 8, What is the Real World? The real world is a symbol, like the rest of what perception offers, yet it stands for what is opposite to what you made. Your world is seen through the eyes of fear and brings the witnesses of terror to your mind. The real world cannot be perceived except through eyes forgiveness blesses, so they see a world where terror is impossible and witnesses to fear cannot be found. The real world holds a counterpart for each unhappy thought reflected in your world, a sure correction for the sights of fear and sounds of battle which your world contains. The real world shows a world seen completely differently through quiet eyes and with a mind at peace, nothing but rest is there. There are no cries of pain and sorrow heard for nothing there remains outside forgiveness and the sights are gentle. Only happy sights and sounds can reach the mind that has forgiven itself. What need has such a mind for thoughts of death, attack and murder? What can it perceive surrounding it but safety, love and joy? What is there it would choose to be condemned and what is there that it would judge against? The world it sees arises from a mind at peace within itself. No danger lurks in anything it sees, for it is kind, and only kindness does it look upon. The real world is a symbol that the dream of sin and guilt is gone, and God's son no longer sleeps. His waking eyes perceive the sure reflection of his father's love, the certain promise that he is redeemed, the real world, signifies the end of time for its perception makes time purposeless. The Holy Spirit has no need of time when it has served his purpose. Now he waits but that one instant more for God to take his final step and time has disappeared, taking perception with it as it goes and leaving but the truth to be itself. That instant is our goal for it contains a memory of God. And as we look upon a world forgiven, it is he who calls to us and comes to us to take us home, reminding us of our identity, which our forgiveness has restored to us. Practice Prompt 291. This is a day of stillness and of peace. Christ's vision looks through me today. His sight shows me all things forgiven and at peace and offers this same vision to the world. And I accept this vision in its name, both for myself and for the world as well. What loveliness we look upon today. What holiness we see surrounding us. And it is given us to recognize it is a holiness in which we share. It is the holiness of God himself. This day, my mind is quiet to receive the thoughts you offer me, and I accept what comes from you instead of from myself. I do not know the way to you, but you are wholly certain. Father, guide your son along the quiet path that leads to you. Let my forgiveness be complete, and let the memory of you return to me. I'm Keisha Dixon. This has been A Course in Miracles, The Practice. Practice Prompt 291. This is a day of stillness and of peace.